Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another DaVinci tutorial. In this one, I will be showing you how you can do the walk by transition. You just need to follow a few basic steps, which I can tell you in the next two minutes, so stay tuned to find out. But first, if you're new here, this is Morning Guides, a YouTube channel that main goal is to make you better at editing. I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and many other things. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button. Just do it! To get started, I am in the edit tab, I have a video on my timeline which I wanna make the walk by transition on, I am right clicking on the clip and selecting new fusion clip. And now I can go into the fusion tab, and when you are there make sure that the clip that you want to make the walk by effect on is selected. And you should only be seeing two nodes which are media in and media out, what you need to do is highlight media in and click on the polygon icon right here, which automatically is gonna connect it to it. And when you did that, you wanna go to the inspector and click the invert box, which is right here. And now you can use the polygon node to mask the clip. And very important thing before you start that is that you wanna move your clip to the part where the guy is appearing. In my case, it's right here. And from that moment, you want to cut everything that is behind him. In my example, I didn't cut it properly. I left some white spots on the back. And that is because I wanted to show you the method and not make you amazed by my work. I'm 100% sure that you can do it even better, as long as you put some time into it. Because the steps are very basic, you just need a little bit of precision and time. So that's why I'm fast forwarding this part of the clip. And now we can move on to one of the last steps that we can do. And that is when you finish your masking, you can go back on the inspector and increase the value of softness, but not too much. And now for our final last step, we need to go to the edit tab again. So what you need to do now, is go on your timeline and find the place where your guy is appearing and hold the time marker right there then move the clip above and then pull the second clip starting from the part where the guy is appearing and now once again I will let you see the clip and remind you that if this clip was useful make sure to like it, comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. See you in the next one. 